So I'll end with some concluding thoughts. The first is that the flawed atheist response to the issue of non-belief is not necessary and really not supported by an adequate epistemology of religious belief. So once we start giving appropriate consideration to social factors and the way that social factors can operate and interact with epistemic uh, position, uh, we've got an explanation of non-belief uh, that can be found other places than some intellectual or moral flaw in the non-believer. So on the present view, uh, explanations of non-belief might also be found in the believers uh, themselves and in the social environment, uh, where the latter includes the nature and quality of interpersonal relations, informal communities, and formal institutions in both their moral and practical aspects. So in other words, the theist doesn't have to find a flaw, moral or intellectual, in the atheist to explain their disagreement. And of course, for the same reason, uh, the atheist does not have to find a flaw in the theist to explain their disagreement. Okay, I want to end by looking at some comments by Pope Francis in the encyclical uh, letter Lumen Fide. Uh, in effect, Francis is here endorsing a social religious epistemology. So in chapter one, uh, we have believed in love. Here's what Francis says. In many areas in our lives, we trust others who know more than we do. We trust the architect who builds our home, the pharmacist who gives us medicine for healing, the lawyer who defends us in court. We also need someone trustworthy and knowledgeable where God is concerned. Then in chapter 3, he continues, How can we be certain after all these centuries, that we have encountered the real Jesus. Were we merely isolated individuals? Were our starting point simply our own individual ego, seeking in itself the basis of absolute sure knowledge? A certainty of this sort would be impossible. I cannot possibly verify for myself something which happened so long ago. But this is not the only way we attain knowledge. Persons always live in relationship. We come from others, we belong to others, and our lives are enlarged by our encounter with others. Francis continues, The same thing holds true for faith, which brings human understanding to its fullness. Faith's past, that act of Jesus' love which brought new life to the world, comes down to us through the memory of others, through witnesses, and is kept alive in that one remembering subject, which is the church. By its very nature, faith is open to the we of the church. It always takes place within her communion. We can respond to the singular I believe only because we are part of a greater fellowship, only because we also say we believe. And finally, he says, we learn how to see reality through the eyes of others, not as something which impoverishes us, but instead enriches our vision. I don't mean to be making an argument from authority here. Nevertheless, I'm happy to end with Pope Francis's strong endorsement of a social religious epistemology.